Good morning, Internet Lands. Charles Mecca here. Just really wanting to talk to you this morning about impacting your generation. Or another way of asking the question is, where is your brainchild? Um, I hear people all the time, or I've read, should I say, people say you should do something worth writing about, or you should write something worth reading. The question to you this morning is, which one of those are you doing? Are you writing something worth reading? Or are you doing something that other people will write about? How are you impacting your generation? What's the plan to impact your generation? Are you just living a mundane average every day? Wake up in the morning, go to work, come back home, have some food, watch some television and go to bed kind of life. Almost a life of insignificance. So it's just a quick video message just to say, impact your generation. Do something that has never been done before. If it has been done before, do it better. Don't live average, don't live ordinary. Do something that makes a difference. Somebody said to me a long time ago that money is simply a reward for solving a problem. So the question to you this morning is, what problem are you solving? You can either solve a small problem for a load of people or a really big problem for a few. What problem are you solving? If you don't like the reward you're receiving, then maybe you need to check the problem you're solving. How are you impacting your generation? We've all heard it. On the day we die, after a year, there will be a gravestone. There will be two dates on that gravestone. The year you were born and the year you died. And really, there's a question mark in between those two dates saying to you, from this date to that date, what did you do with your life? That's the question I'm asking you this morning. What are you doing with your life? Are you stillborn? Are you at a standstill? Have you frozen? Have you been releasing your babies? Some of you have been pregnant over and over and over again, but fear didn't let you release your babies. Impact your generation. The day you're no longer here, will anything be said about you? Will people say once upon a time they lived so and so called this, and this is what they did. This is how they impacted me. This is how they helped others. This is how they turned things around. This is the mark they left on the earth. This is how they impacted their generation. Are you impacting your generation? Do you plan to? Or is life for you just earning a salary, earning a wage, paying bills, sleeping, and time is going by? All of us have the same amount of time every single day. All of us have 12 to 14 hours of working hours. All of us have 24 hours in a day. What are you doing with your 24 hours? What are you doing with your day? What are you doing with your time? How are you impacting your generation? Do you intend to impact your generation? Have you left your signature on the earth in any way or any form? Impact your generation. Where is your brainchild? The child I'm sitting, the chair I'm sitting on right now is somebody else's brainchild. The glass in my hand right now, somebody else's brainchild. This knife and fork, somebody else's brainchild. This glass over here, somebody else's brainchild. This teacup, somebody else's brainchild. Everything around me, everything around you is somebody else's brainchild. The ring on your finger is somebody else's brainchild. The glasses on your face is somebody else's brainchild. The bed you sleep on, the TV you watch is somebody else's brainchild. We spend all our time consuming and enjoying other people's brainchildren. When are we going to enjoy or appreciate your brainchild? How do you intend to pack your generation? Ask yourself that serious question. Don't just live. Don't just exist. Don't just survive. But leave your stamp on earth by impacting your generation and releasing your brainchild. Thank you.